Hello everybody, DJ Vic Vapor with you. And I wanted to take a look at a technique or an idea that I came up with and share it with you. And it's a way to take your drums within uh, Bitwig Studio drum machine and make them sound a little bit more real or dare I say humanistic, but just not so static. So as you know, you take a Drum machine, drum machine, you drop in a few samples and then you set up your rhythm and it plays. But what's happening is the same sample is being triggered note after note by the MIDI note. So you're getting the same overall sound throughout your track or throughout your groove. And I come up with a way to trigger multiple samples for each thing and make it sound a little bit more humanistic and a little bit more like it's being played uh, live or, you know, for real. So. Let me have you take a listen to it, and then I'll kind of show you under the hood what's going on. Yeah, so just a real nice little basic MIDI loop here. I'll let you take a look at it. Just got my, you know, different elements here all triggered in, patterned out. But what's going on in the drum machine itself, each sample, outside of the kick, the kick I didn't want to treat, I just left as an individual sample. But let's look at the stick snare drum. So if I open up the sampler here, you can see that there's two hits, and I'll go up to a little bit bigger view here. So there's two samples actually, and they're both completely different. They sound somewhat similar, but they're different samples. So as this is played, let me solo this. See how they're both different sounds, but they're both being triggered randomly, kind of that way you're not getting the same sample hitting, you know, over and over and over. You're getting a variety of um, flavors or sounds within that one pattern. So I did that throughout the claps, the cymbal ride, and the hi hat. You know, I've done the same thing. I'll let you see there's two samples per each one so there's two samples for everything you can do more than two if you want to with this technique but I find two is kind of enough because you don't want the sound to be dramatically different you just want a subtle difference between the two samples um, anything further than that starts to sound a little noticeable or a little strange so let's go down here and take a look on our snare How we're doing this so I'm gonna to go to note effects here and I'll show you what I've got going on I've got the uh, note pitch shifter here and then I've got the modulator the steps modulator set with two steps and it's triggered per note and it's just going back and forth but what it's doing is it's modulating the semitones up and down so that essentially that's triggering randomly from these steps, you know, one sample versus the next sample. And the way that's doing that is just by modulating the semitones, and you can see the light blinking there. So let's go out of this, and I'll show you some of the other ones. Uh, let's take a look at the hi hats. So here you can see they're going back and forth as well. And on this one, I've got an LFO. Again, it's the note pitch shifter. And it's triggering the semitones. We've got a little bit of fine adjustment there. And then we've got our different parameters set to give it a nice even kind of back and forth randomness. So you can do this a, a multiple ways, but the idea here is to, to grab the note pitch shifter and trigger the semitones to the point where you're triggering both samples. So that's kind of the, the idea and the technique and the things that are going on under the hood to get this flavor to happen.
But I thought, you know, it started to sound really, really cool and really interesting as I developed grooves this way. And I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you guys and maybe um, lend some ideas for you to be more creative within the sampler and within the drum machine here in Bitwig Studio too. So great way to keep your drum sets from sounding very static and a very, you know, repetitive to the sound. So I haven't really even treated this with any EQ or done anything like that. I've just set the samples in and moved them around a little bit and got different things going. So Hopefully this is something that will inspire you and a technique that you want to look at and maybe consider doing yourself. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for pushing play and peace.